Hello, Blizzard fans! This is Falcon Paladin coming to you with yet another daily Blizzard upload. This is a game between Morn and Apocalypse on Iron Fortress, the latter edition. This is a Heart of the Swarm match that Morn actually sent me about a week or so ago. I really appreciate him submitting it to me. He's a fairly well-known StarCraft II player. I appreciate him taking the time out to talk to me on Skype. I really do appreciate it. And let's go ahead and introduce the players. In the top right of Iron Fortress, the latter edition, we have the Red Terran player. It is Morn. And in the bottom right of Iron Fortress, we have the blue Protoss player. From outset, it is Apocalypse. Looks like we have observers here. Six Marines shouldn't scare a Protoss, though. Wow, says Namek. I don't know what they're talking about. Perhaps another game. Nothing really is happening right now so again it's always nice to have high level heart of the swarm play right now legacy of the void just there's so much crazy stuff going on uh the builds aren't really solidified yet you do see one or two things like a four gate adept pressure into other stuff um you see disruptor play a lot with protoss you see liberators quite a bit in zb or tbz as well but nothing really too standard still trying to work out basic meta gaming at this point but heart of the swarm man that has been around for a while now for about two years I want to say it's been about two and a half years at this point, so everybody knows what they want to do. You don't see too many crazy things, it's just who can do the best builds faster. Forward a pylon for Apocalypse, perhaps the wrong place. I'm not sure if he thought this is where Morn was, uh, or if he just wants to put... Oh, okay, actually, Proxy Stargate, just kidding. Proxy Stargate, we're going to see some Oracle play here for sure. That's exactly what Morn needs to be ready for. He needs to get turrets up, that's pretty much how this is going to work. Um, turrets are good. Here comes the Reaper Harass. Let's slow this sucker down. Reaper is actually heading back. Uh, yeah, the Reaper's heading back to base. Maybe he really, really wants to kill that probe. Or is he scouting out for a pylon? I think... Yeah, I think he knows something's up. I think he really has felt like there's a, a proxy something somewhere. But no, he's not really looking. He's just making a beeline back for the Protoss player's base. So, hmm. I... <laughs> I don't know what's going on. Scouting SCV dies. It's pretty much going to be a one base Protoss. You have to know something crazy is coming. Here comes the Oracle. The Reaper saying, I am no use against an Oracle. That is for sure. Or do we have... No. No. Okay, so we're pumping Marines two at a time. Six Marines is about enough to deal with an Oracle. I think even five, the Oracle wins that fight. So here we come. Oracle versus a certain number of Marines. I don't think I had the uh, production tab up. I'm sorry about that. But yeah, Widow Mine being produced as well, that can be pretty good against Oracles and Starport and Bunker at the same time, following up with a Rubble Bay. Here comes a small group of Marines. There are four of them. Yeah, and there we go. Opening fire on those SCVs. Kind of tickling them. Getting one. Getting two. Are we going to get three? Yes, gets three. The Oracle comes back around again, taking a few shots from those Marines. It's down to the yellow health now. Yeah, three kills is not really enough to pay for yourself, Oracle. You should be ashamed. Go back home in shame. There are no friends coming to join you, so no additional oracles are on the way. Morn did a good job having just enough marines to shoo him away. Again, he did lose three marines, but really not a big deal because he does have his expansion up before the Protoss player. Just making it now is Apocalypse, and an observer coming out for Apocalypse, as well as researching Warpgate and making a stalker. So fairly standard stuff from the Protoss player. Meanwhile, we're going to get marines. We're going to hang out here in this mineral line, and what are we going to do? Burr a widow mine somewhere. Where on earth is that widow mine? I know it's here somewhere. Units, widow mines. I'm trying to click on it. Maybe it's burrowed. Did it get the kill? Oh, it did. There it is. It's right there on top of that command center. And let's see if we can actually click it. Yes, it did get the kill on that oracle. Very, very brave little widow mine. There reminds me of a toaster. The brave little toaster, if you've actually seen that movie. I saw it when I was like seven years old, so I don't remember a whole lot of it. I remember a lot of it was kind of scary, though. So that might be different if I watch it as an adult today. Here comes a drop. From Morn, down the right side, we're going to follow this here drop on the map Iron Fortress. And again, it's kind of hard. There aren't really many open flying spaces um, for medevacs to go. I think they can be spotted by ground units a lot of the places. But here we come. We're going to drop here in the natural. No, there's not really much to do here in the natural. A couple of probes, no big deal. But the main, the main is a juicy, juicy target. Oh, the Mothership core is out of position. Dropping in the Widow Mines on top of everything. Pulling the probes immediately. Excellent pull there. That was incredible timing. Sniping down one of the Widow Mines, sniping down the other Widow Mine as well because we do have an Observer on the field. That did not do very much at all. Units lost. Four probes have died. Two Widow Mines. Five SCVs. I feel like Apocalypse might actually be ahead here. So 
Hmm, we'll have to see. War Prism shenanigans are on the way. Another drop coming up. Another Widow Mine Marine drop. But again, there are observers. I just don't know how this is going to work. And putting a couple stalkers inside that War Prism. Going to get scouted, I think. Do we see each other here? Yes, we catch just a glimpse of each other. Just barely. I'm not sure if either player saw that or not. But here comes the Warp Prism. Here comes the Medivac. Going to try to drop inside this base. And what's the reaction time going to be from Apocalypse? Amazing. Just fantastic reaction time. Getting out of there. Observer checking things out. And what are we going to do with the Warp Prism? I don't know. We're too busy microwing back home. Are we going to get a hit with the Widow Mine? Yeah, getting five kills with that Widow Mine hit. It's going to take a while for it to actually regenerate. Where's the Observer? Where is the Observer? I don't know. But here come... The stalker, is this like a stalker harass with the war prism? This is weird. Getting surrounded by all of the workers. Both stalkers are actually alive right now. Gonna try to kill him with a few marines that are here, but a couple more marines show up. Can we actually snipe down that war prism? No. The war prism manages to escape. War prism is still here. Where's the observer? There it is. Did we not... <sighs> getting a couple more kills, just two. Apocalypse should be thankful it was not any worse than that. Finally getting taken down recognizing apocalypse that hey there's a widow mine in my mineral line how did that happen i do not know but a small group over here what is that four three marines and two medevacs are hanging out at the edge of apocalypse's base i'm not sure if warren forgot about these or not but here comes a warp prism heading back on home with both stalkers so still alive that is pretty good any damage you did with those is going to be pretty darn effective let's see how many kills these guys have if we unload them yes we do four kills and three kills so seven total kills for those stalkers again neither of them died so that's a pretty good thing Small push in with the medevac and the three marines. Colossus says, uh-uh, that's not going to happen. We're going to use photon overcharge here as well. Another drop coming down. Morn is really committed to these drops. Going to try to land, but there's a lot of stalkers here. This is not going to go well. Focusing down the medevac. Going to get it? Yes, does manage to get it. The marines getting sliced down and burned down by the zealot and the colossus. Poor thing. Medivac inadvertently scouts out this stargate. Going to send some units maybe to try to take care of it. This observer scouting everything is just really nice. For Apocalypse. I've been in that spot before as a Zerg player where I kind of did a specific, I don't know, I made like a Ling Infester or a Ling Muta attack on a Protoss player and they had the exact right composition to counter it. And I was like, what? How? And they were like, yeah, I had an Observer in your base the entire game. And I was like, oh. So now I try to build a couple Spore Crawlers at least to make sure Observers can't run around wherever they want to go. <laughs> So again, be aware that there might be an Observer right in your base. That is a PSA from Falcon Paladin today. So here comes the Warp Prism with four Zealots. I guess we can warp in more units as well with all the warp gates that we have up. We're going to just try to drop inside this mineral line. There's really nothing to defend against this. One, two, three, and four. Zealots have no plus upgrades whatsoever. So they still do a lot of damage, but not quite as much damage as they would with that plus upgrade. A few Marauders coming up to deal with this. The Warp Prism, oh no, taking shots from the Viking. Is the Viking going to be able to kill it? I think with good micro, perhaps. What's the speed on that? 2.75. Warp prisms are dead fast. I think a little bit, a lot faster actually. So the Viking's actually not going to chase it down. Just going to try to hang out and make sure the warp prism doesn't come back this way again. The Viking should be a good deterrent for that. Another drop. Morn really wants. To, basically, another player is really committed to making a big attack on the ground. They just want to drop small units at the other player and make them concede. So we'll have to see if that happens or not. Whew. Going to take another drink there. So Nexus heading up here. And actually, Orbital Command already solidified there for Morn. So doing a pretty good job there with that Orbital Command. Uh, worker count is 44 to 48, 113 to 105 supply. Both players are fairly even right now. Another drop coming down with the Viking Escort. Going to try to get in here and get some damage done. There is nothing defending this base whatsoever. Another drop. Simultaneous prong drops. All right, Morn. This is how you do this as a Terran player. Going to town on these workers. The reaction time not quite as good. This time for Apocalypse actually does lose one or two probes there. This drop sniping down individual zealots that are trying to respond to the stalkers, rather. Stalkers going down. Photon overcharge actually, I think, can just about be healed through by that medevac. Maybe not quite, but oh boy, these guys are still alive and boosting out of there because that medevac has seven hit points. We might try to do some damage at here as well, but Apocalypse is ready for that. Going to come down with these stalkers, immediately snipe down that medevac. Are we actually going to choose to do that? No. There we go. Finally, somebody kills it. These guys get roasted to death. The Observer observes their deaths, and they are going to turn into ash and float away into the sky. No big deal. Another Warp Prism. Where'd that Viking go? The Viking is not here. Warp Prism comes back on in to the main. There's another drop here as well with Marines and Marauders. They are still here. They did not go anywhere. So many probes have died. 25 probes, 18 SCVs. This has been a worker massacre. Pulling the SCVs as well. The Zealots 
go into town, but here comes the Marauder, here come the Marines, they're gonna get killed for sure. This War Prism is still alive, and just as I say that, another hit, boom, they die. Small drop coming here to the third base, Mord is dropping, I mean, non-stop against this Protoss player. This has got to be so frustrating to deal with. Dropping again, forcing a pull of all of the workers here at the base. Can we actually stim and kill this Nexus is going to be the question. It's going to be close. No, I think we have to pick up and run out. There's a lot of Stalkers, a lot of Colossus here. Yes, picking up, boosting out. No, one of the Medivacs does go down, falling into this crater, into this crevice that goes down to nowhere. Another drop, boosting in here to the natural though, responding our Zealots. I don't know if that's the right choice or not. Taking down, why are we taking down a pile on, I don't know. Photon overcharge being used there as well. These guys could actually maybe go back. Yes, boosting up again. Dropping on top of these workers, killing one probe. And no, oh, the Marauder dog oh, gets picked up and escapes. The Marauder's like, hey, don't leave me hanging. And the Medivac pilot said, okay, fine. Stop being a baby. Marauder said, I have no kills. I can't die with no kills. I have to kill something, even if it's just a probe. And I think at this point, Apocalypse says, I'm tired of this. I'm tired of this non-stop drop harass. I'm going to go for the kill now. I have Colossus. I have a lot of Stalkers. I have a lot of Zealots. There are no upgrades on these units, though, which is a little bit worrisome. We, do we have the um, Extended Thermal Lance upgrade for the... Yes, we do. Okay, so at least the Colossus have that. But no armor, no attack upgrades. Passing in the night are our friends, Morn and Apocalypse. Are we going to actually attack into this? I do not know. We have a few Vikings, but not enough. I don't think for four Colossus... Big attack, the laser beams lasering everything onto the ground. The, the corpses of marines and marauders are left there to burn. Very unfortunately, that attack was very one-sided for Apocalypse. But another drop, they came back. They came back, Morn's units killing everything. Can we actually get the Mothership Core? Yes, the Mothership Core does go down. The Marines have plus one, plus one attack. I have to imagine that's going to be very useful. Taking down this assimilator, this probe comes back for some reason and gets exploded as well. Does it? No, the probe stays alive with five hit points. Probe, you are the luckiest probe ever. I mean, your nexus is going to die, but you're actually going to survive. Look at that. Probe wins. Now doing long distance mining. Oh, picking up every single medevac there. Good blink forward with those blink stalkers. But the drop is back here. Going to take down this third base. Are we? We are. The stim is real. The plus one attack is real. And it explodes. That probe actually does get targeted down. Pick up and run away. There's no reason to stay here. That is for sure. Poor Marine. Gets left behind. Forward piling for Apocalypse. Again, I just feel like Apocalypse needs to go. He has the better army. I really think some good force field play would be nice here. The Viking count is not super high yet. There's one in production, but only seven total. There are a lot of stalkers to take those things down. But here we come. Big time attack. Going to zoom on out. The Marines and Marauders at the front. The Colossus quite, aren't quite here yet. One on the left side getting exposed and stemmed down. But the big push forward. That's it. Apocalypse is defeated. Morn is victorious. And Apocalypse has left the game. So, wow. Just crazy nonstop action there from Morn. Thanks again for submitting that replay. I really do appreciate it. And again, this has been Falcon Paladin with yet another daily Blizzard upload. Professional level, excellent quality stuff you can always find on my channel. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook, all at slash Falcon Paladin. And until next time, as always, thank you for watching. Tell your friends, and you take care of yourself.